Hi, I'm Helen Carvel. I'm course leader for maths and further maths at QE. Um, I head up a team of seven, including myself, uh, specialist A-level maths teachers with many years of experience of teaching maths and further maths. Uh, we offer the two courses, A-level maths and A-level further maths. In the maths course, you study lots of algebra, trigonometry and calculus. We also cover um, statistics and mechanics, an applied component of the course. The statistics part of the course covers work on analysing data, looking at probability and doing hypothesis testing. The mechanics part involves forces and motion. We ask you to have at least a grade 7 to take maths A-level because we think that reflects the, the standard that you really need to be at, particularly what you need to have are really good algebra skills. The course uh, is examined by um, three exams at the end of two years. Um, two of them are on the pure component, which is all the algebra, calculus and trig. And then the third exam is on the applied work. For further maths, you study quite different content. You need to be studying A-level maths as well as further maths, so this would count as another one of your choices. Uh, we would normally ask students who are doing further maths to take it as a fourth subject. Uh, in the further maths course, you study more algebra and you also study a lot more calculus, but you study new things such as complex numbers and vectors. Also, half of the course is applied. We'd study more mechanics, so we look at work and energy and power. We look at collisions and the impact between them. We also study decision maths, which is all about algorithms and how they are used to solve lots of real life problems. For further maths, we ask you to have at least a grade eight, um, and there are four exams which you take at the end of the two year course. Maths is a really good subject to take for lots of different reasons. A lot of our students take it who are studying obviously sciences, but lots of students take maths alongside things like um, earth sciences, geography, geology, or alongside the humanities subjects like sociology, psychology, law. So we do get quite a range of students picking to do maths. It's an excellent subject for lots of other skills, so things like being able to solve problems, think analytically. You also learn to work under pressure and with a great degree of accuracy. All of those are excellent skills to have in the workplace as well. Um, so we've got a lot of students take it. They go on to all sorts of different things. Obviously a lot go on to things like engineering and science courses, but we have students going to computer science and to logistics. We have students also go on to completely different things. So things like management, economics, and some decide that they enjoy maths, but they don't want to study it at a higher level. So they go, go on and do a whole range of other possible things. So I'd like to welcome you to, to maths at QE. And um, I said, obviously, consider maybe further maths as well if you really enjoy maths. And my main advice would be think about choosing it if you love maths and you're really good at it.